Hello everyone, we are the Paradox, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to make a long cardigan with button skirt with the marvelous designer. If you want to learn how to make a minimal outfit too, we uploaded a video of how to make it on our channel, you can also see that. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it and hit the notification button, so you do not miss our future videos. Well, let's not waste any more time and go to it. Let's make a rectangle. Create points on it. Create another point. Move it down. Paste it symmetrically. Choose the color. Bring it closer to the model body. Copy and paste it. Flip it horizontally. Sew them together. Create another rectangle. Paste it symmetrically. Put them in the right place. Sew them together. Simulate. Here are some problems at the top that we need to fix one by one. Delete the points. Adjust the sewing. Make a point on it. Adjust the sewing. Make changes to it. Do the same for the front piece as well. Make them smaller. Reverse the sewing. Give it a curve. Make them a little smaller. Give it a curve.
make them smaller. Make them smaller. Adjust the curve. Merge them. Delete the point. Do the same for the front piece. Click on Offset as internal line. Select on the cut and sew. Do the same for the back piece. Give them thickness. Deactivate and hide them. Specify the color. Create a rectangle for the waist of the model. Transfer it to the model's waist using the arrangement points. Sew the two sides together. Create a point. Create an internal line. Copy and paste it. Change the settings of the fold section so that the internal lines are inclined inwards. We lower the particle distance to check the results. Because when the particle distance is at 20, we can't see the details very well. Select layer clone over. Change the weft. Transfer it to layer 1. Here you can also use the elastic option using your taste. But because we want to use this part as a skirt belt, we cannot give it much stretch, because using the elastic option in the desired area, 
causes that area to stretch and contract. So since we do not mean such a thing here, we cannot use it, and if we did, we should use it in small quantities that do not affect the details much. Make a point on it. Create an internal line. Copy and paste it. Change the settings of the fold section. Delete it. We lower the particle distance number to see the details well. Make changes to it. Make changes to it. Delete it. Select on layer clone over. Lower the particle distance, and set it to 5. Now we set the particle distance number to 20, so that we can continue working, because working with a low particle distance slows us down. Create a rectangle. Paste it symmetrically. Copy and paste it for the back piece. Bring the front piece closer to the model body. Move the back piece to the back of the model. Flip it horizontally, with the shortcut Ctrl and G. Try to use shortcut keys for tasks, because it makes you work faster, and your high performance, and thus saves your time. Divide it into four equal parts. Sew them together. Simulate. Make them a little bigger. Can use elastic, but as mentioned earlier, when elastic is used, the fabric stretches or shrinks, thus affecting its details. In such cases, it is best to use warp and weft which make the desired part smaller or larger without reducing the details and affecting them. Put it on layer 1. Make them a little bigger.
make them smaller. Change the settings of the elastic part. Change the weft. Make them smaller. Disable the elastic part. Make them smaller. Make them smaller. Using the change length, we resize it. Do the same for the back piece. Make it bigger. Do the same for the back piece. Make it a little bigger. Do this for the back piece. Merge them. Delete the point. Move it up. Select on the offset as internal line. Select the cut and sew option. Create an internal ellipse. Make it a little smaller. Copy and paste it. Put them in the right place. Select the clone as pattern. Sew them together.
simulate. Remove the sewing. Create an internal line. Copy and paste them. Sew them together. Merge them. Delete them. Adjust the sewing. Delete them. Delete the internal line. Also, delete the point. Do the same for the next piece. Change its size. Change its size. Make a point on it. Sew them together. Do the same for others. Note that we want the skirt sewing line to be an angled line with a 45 degree angle and not a straight line. 
Of course, your own taste comes first here, and you can consider the sewing line in any way you want. But here we want to create the buttons, and the sewing line on the front of the skirt, in the form of a line with an angle of approximately 45 degrees. Delete the point. Sew them together. Deactivate and hide them. Display it and activate it. Also, display and activate the buttons. Remove the buttons. Remove the sewing. Merge them. Control and Z. Completely remove the sewing. Merge them. Delete it. Adjust the sewing. Delete them. Here we make a series of changes to the skirt, because we want the skirt sewing line in front of it, as a line with an angle of about 45 degrees. Try to make changes to your clothes with certain sizes, so that you can move the whole outfit in unison, and if you change one part to the same size, change the other part to exactly the same size, this creates harmony in all the clothes. Remove the seam line between the two front pieces here, and you can make any changes you want here. You can create a regular skirt, you can make changes in one piece as you see it now, which is different from the other piece, for example, it is smaller and not vertical, and it is slightly sloping. Make a point on it. Create an internal line. Adjust it.
Select the offset as internal line. Select on the cut and sew. Do the same for the other pieces. Create an internal ellipse. Copy and paste it. Adjust them. Copy and paste them. Adjust them. Sew them together. Lower it a little and make it smaller. Make changes. Select the clone as pattern. Sew them together. Move it to layer 0. Here we select all the buttons, and see if the buttons are sunk under the skirt or not. Give them thickness. Try to always have the thickness of the buttons, more than the thickness of the garment itself, so that it does not have any problems during the simulation, and that it becomes more realistic. Disable and hide them. Choose the preset. Choose the color. Choose the color. Create a rectangle. Bring it closer to the model body. Make points on it. Create another point on it. Make changes to it. Give it a curve.
use smooth curve. Move it up. Adjust the curve. Paste it symmetrically. Copy and paste it for the back piece. Move it to the back of the model. Flip it horizontally. Put them in the right place. Select the convert as curve point. Select on delete all curves. Make changes to it. Sew them together. Simulate. Lower it a little. Give it more fabric. Lower it a bit. Lower it a bit. Create another rectangle. Create a point in the middle of it. Move it up. Select the convert as curve point. Create a point in the middle of it. Sew them together. Put it in its proper place. Simulate. Sew them together. Make it a little bigger. Create points on it. Create another rectangle. Make it smaller. Put it in its proper place. Freeze it. Activate it. Sew them together. Sew them together. Make it a little bigger. Make it a little smaller. Make it a little tighter. Make changes.
copy and paste it. Put it in its proper place. Sew them together. Merge them. Delete the point. Also, delete the top point. Create an internal rectangle. Make it a little bigger. Select the clone as pattern. Sew them together. Make it a little bigger. Create an internal line. Select on cut and sew. Select layer clone over. Copy and paste it. Sew them together. Make them smaller. Select the offset as internal line. Select on the cut and sew. Do the same for the other pieces. Give them thickness. Deactivate and hide them. Specify the color. Create an ellipse. Move it to the top of the model.
create a rectangle. Using the arrangement point, move it around the model head. Make it a little smaller. Create a point in the middle of it. Sew them together. Simulate. Move it up. Create a rectangle. Make it a little smaller. Using the arrangement point, move it around the model head. Sew them together. Simulate. Make them a little smaller. Choose the preset. Change the settings of the fold section. Here, try to change the settings as you wish. Because with these settings you can turn around the hat up or down, and using the fold settings you can do this easily, and make the hat according to your taste. In such cases, try to put a few pins on several sides of the hat, so that the hat is not pulled up during the simulation, and does not fall off the model, so that you can personalize it.
Select Layer Clone Over. Change the weft. Select the offset as internal line. Control and Z. Select the offset as internal line. Deactivate and hide it. Here we use the pins, so that the cap does not fall off the model during simulation. Attach all the pins to the avatar. You can change the fold settings to your liking. Here in the detail section, you can change the section to your liking by changing each section. It depends on your taste, how you want to personalize the hat. In the detail section, by changing each of the options, you can make changes in the hat.
we change the fold settings. Deactivate it and hide. Give it thickness. Display and activate it. Lower the particle distance. Display and activate it. Change its layer. We also lower the particle distance. To make the buttons look natural, especially when the button is oval or circular, we need to use a low particle distance to make it look more natural and realistic. In such cases, I use a low particle distance for the buttons and this causes the circular shape to be completely a circle and not a polygon. Change the layer. Display it and activate it. Change the layer. We also reduce its particle distance number. Display and activate it. Reduce its particle distance. Remove all pins attached to the cap using the W and control.
select the clone layer. Thank you guys for watching this video. We hope this video was helpful to you and could have added something to your information. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it so that you do not miss our future videos. If you like this video, please like it, it will help us a lot. If you have any questions, you can say them in the comments section. So we will see you in future videos.